Tonight, a class action lawsuit has been filed in Louisiana accusing the power company Entergy of failing to prepare for Hurricane Ida. Weeks after the storm, more than 20,000 customers are still without electricity. Can you imagine? Well, CBS's Jesse Mitchell met a family especially hard hit. The grandma was in the part of the house that the roof started coming off. Oh my God. When it started coming off. It was I bad. I was scared. I was scared. You're trying to survive in the situation you're in. Two weeks after Hurricane Ida tore through Golden Meadow, Louisiana. I'm grateful to God that we're alive. We met Crystal Hodge and her family living in a house still without power. Since the storm, we've taken on additional family members. My daughter, her daughter, my daughter's mother-in-law, and my niece. And she's been sleeping here, and her clothes is all here. Three homes between them suffered severe damage. They've been keeping the lights on here with a generator. They can only afford to run half the day. How often do you refill it? Daily. daily. Oh, yeah, daily. Having power for Hodge and her family is essential. Her mother, Elaine, is recovering from a recent heart attack and sits by the light of a bedroom window to sort through her medicine. And Hodge's niece, Demi, is diabetic. They run the refrigerator just long enough to keep her insulin cool. She was hospitalized last week for a kidney infection, and it's super dangerous for her diabetes. But the whole family now feels endangered. This has started dripping. They believe mold is starting to grow because of this leaky ceiling and fear for baby Jennifer. She coughs, but not... It's a different kind of cough that she, I've never heard her have before. The women are grateful for the outpouring of support from neighbors. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate you and God bless you. God bless but you they're guys. mindful it will be a tough road ahead. We'll eat cheap and try to save, save, save everywhere we can. And she says they will weather what's to come together. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Jesse Mitchell, CBS News, Golden Meadow, Louisiana.